Welcome to On Tomorrow's Start Darkroom. Today we are so pleasured to introduce you to the automation tool which can support you in doing any activities on Twitter like auto update either by a website even straight users, auto follow and follow message, auto like reply to users to it in bank, angry follows likes auto post tweet on Twitter on mass retweets for Twitter posts. In this video we will show you steps to auto update avatar my own and website on Twitter with Twitter automation tool. When you buy Twitter automation software, we will provide you with two links, consistent of software link and user agent file link. Download this two file and you will receive Twitter automation in right format like that. You will right click on this select aspect here. You will receive Twitter automation folder. Open this folder and double click on Twitter automation. Wait for the launching and then enter the provided license, username and password. You will open the server and see the interface. This is the interface of Twitter automation software. There are several basic settings you need to set up before running any functions. First is accounts section. You need to import Twitter accounts or Gmail accounts, which will be used to create Twitter accounts. You click on this icon data. You will see the database manager style of us. There are two ways for you to import data. The first one is to do it manually. You will click on this icon, select add group, and then enter group name here. For example, I will enter tutorial. Then click OK to create this group. Then you select this group, click on this icon, select add item. You will enter username and password of Twitter here. with the password. You are sure import proxy part. If you select proxy from data, then click OK to save. Similarly, you can import thousands of Twitter's account here. Next, if you don't have Twitter's accounts, you can import Gmail accounts to create Twitter account. Click on this icon, select add root, enter the name here. I will enter tutorial red. Then select this root. Click on this icon, select add item. You will pass username to with a password, then enter g email. password and recovery mail then click OK to save similarly you can import thousands of Gmail accounts here um, the second one is you will import by a CFV file to do this, you will create a text file, name it at accounts, for example. Then you enter Twitter's accounts here. You will enter all the parameters what is corresponding with the hex here in the dialog box, the database manager. And click to save. Then use uh, click on convert, select import CFV, click on this icon, and then select the accounts file created. Click OK. You can click on this icon to rename. 
for example, tutorial one, and click OK. You can see the data imports here. And then, in case you don't have Twitter accounts, you can create a text file, name it a Gmail, and then import the Gmail accounts here. So remember to import parameters that with this correct running would pass. You leave the comments for a parameter that you don't have here. Then start with Gmail password and recovery mail. And then click to save. Then click on convert, import CSV. Click on this icon and select the Gmail text file created. Click OK. You also can rename this one tutorial one, right? Okay, so close this dialog box. Then at the account section, you will select the group you want to run here. For example, I will select tutorial. And in case you don't have Twitter accounts, you can select tutorial red one to run the function register with Google. Next is the action. You will select the features that you want to run at this section. In this video, we will instruct you to run update editor, update bio, and update website. Next in the run section, this is the number of time that you want the software to run. You can leave it at the default. The software will run continuously till you stop it manually. And you can put any number here, for example, 1,000. The software will run 1,000 times and stop it. With track section, this is the number of windows that will run at the same time. For example, you put it three here. Three Windows will be open and uh, run with three accounts. Next uh, is Cookies Founder and Data Founder. Cookies Founder will be saved your launching and the software will not launching again from the next run. You will create a founder, name it a cookie. Then get the path. Copy and paste it into the session. Simulate data folder. We'll save the result of running. For example, you run thread user function. The result will be saved in this folder, data folder. Next is proxy search. There are three choices for you to choose here. The first one is from file, a file browser section. There are two options for you. The first one is live from file. You will create a text file to contain browsing here. Then you will enter your browsing IP and part. For example, these are our browsing. You click to save. And then file browsing. You click on the icon, select the proxy file created. The second option is lines from URL. You will paste proxy link and address here. Next is from data. You will import uh, proxy imports into data with through the accounts or Gmails. The last one is no proxy. The software will use your computer proxy to run this. Next is the user agent file. When you buy the software, we will provide you with user agent file. Just download it and click on this icon. Select the, the file that we provided. Next is lift time. This is the range of time among runtimes. Unit here is milliseconds. 
so if you set up 7,000 to 10,000 seconds like this, after finishing running one turn of tracks, the software will delay in 7 to 10 seconds and then perform the next run of tracks. Next, to run the update error function, you will select update error the action section and add um, the image folder. You will create a folder to save photos which will be used to upload it there. Now this new folder is image. For, for example, these are photos that we want to use to update everywhere. And at image folder, you click on this icon, select the folder created. Finally, you click OK to run. You can click on show browser to see how the software runs. Now we will run the update bio function. You will select a that bio and action. Then you will create a text file to contain bio that you want to update. You will enter the bio per line. For example, these are the file that I want to update. Then click to save 
add content file section, click on this icon and select the bio file created. Finally, you click OK. Can click on Show Browser to see how the server runs. Finally, we will run the update website function. As the action session, you will select update website. And at content file section, you will create a text file to contain link of website that you want to update. For example, these are links of website that we want to update. Click to save. And at this session, click on this icon, select the website text file created, then finally you click OK. Click on Show Browser to see how the server runs. These demonstrated above are instruction for you to update Avenir, bio, or websites on Twitter with Twitter automation tool. You can visit our Twitter.com to see more useful software. Thank you very much for your time. See you in the next video.